in the book of Exodus, we're in chapter 32. Let's look at verse 8 now. They've made the golden calf. Moses has to come down and check it out. God is telling Moses what's happened now because Moses has been busy listening to God. Moses didn't know what was happening down below. We have verse 8. God is talking to Moses and he says, this is what the people have done. They have quickly turned aside from the way which I commanded them. They have made for themselves a molten calf and have worshipped it and have sacrificed to it and said, This is your God, O Israel, who brought you up from the land of Egypt. That's a pretty stunning thing for God to tell Moses. It's kind of like, yeah, this Ten Commandments we've just been going over in detail here. These guys have already broken it. You know, they made, they made the agreement and they've already, they've already, you know, made the calf. They've already uh, sacrificed to it. They've already bowed down to it. I mean, this is full-blown apostasy. This is just straight up. Uh, the people as a general thing there have, have all gone astray. So listen to this from Stewart's commentary, page uh, 669. Since God himself had chosen his way of personal manifestation in the past, the people's choice of a dumb idol who could do none of those things instead of the living God, who that was also a rejection of his methods of demonstrating his presence. You know, when God says, look, this is the way I'm going to do it, we need to agree to that. We need to be okay with that. He's God, we're not. If he chooses to uh, make a sanctuary, if he chooses to represent himself with a glowing blob in the Shekinah, if he chooses to be invisible or use a burning bush, whatever he chooses to do, you know, we need to, we need to be, um, okay, you're God and we're, we're listening. But that's, these guys are taking it into their own hands. We're going to remake God in our own image. We're going to do it our way. And there's another thing here that I thought was interesting in this verse, which was how God says that they have quickly turned aside. Uh, it, this has happened so speedily, so immediately. They, and they, they, they were all, full, all the way in. They've done all the different pieces of worship again, making it, bowing to it, having a feast. And they've declared a false day of religious worship. They must have done some singing, you know, when Moses comes down, he's going to say, he's, Joshua's going to say, I think I hear a sound of war. Moses is going to say, no, no, it sounds like singing. This is probably a religious meeting. And uh, some of these religious meetings with singing that uh, that is not singing to God, it's singing to self. So you've got this uh, affront. This is your God, O Israel, that led you out of Egypt, which is totally untrue. This fake piece of nonsense. So the people have corrupted themselves. Uh, by and large, they're all in on this. Even Aaron is in it. And Moses, Moses, who knows what, what was going through his mind just now. But we're going to find out more. Let's carry on tomorrow morning.